So we have two hours and five minutes plus one hour and 40 minutes. Whenever we add, we always start from the right side. So let's bring down the minutes. And then we have five plus 40, which will equal 45. Bring down the hour and two plus one will equal three. Three hours and 45 minutes. Now the next one will be a bit more trickier. Here we have five hours and 25 minutes plus one hour and 40 minutes. So let's start again from the right side, bring down the minutes. Then we have 25 plus 40. The answer is 65. Now we know that's a problem because there's only 60 minutes in one hour, but we'll get back to that in a little second. Bring down the hour and five plus one equals six. Six hours and 65 minutes. And as I said before, there's a, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So what do we do? What we do is we subtract 60 minutes from 65. And the answer will be five, five minutes. Since we subtracted 60 minutes, we're gonna add 60 minutes, but we're not gonna add 60 minutes. We're gonna add something equivalent to 60, which is one hour. So it's six plus one, and that's seven. Seven hours and five minutes is the answer. Here we have minus. So once again, let's bring down the minutes. 50 minus 10 will be 40. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 hours and 40 minutes. However, here we have 4 hours and 20 minutes minus 1 hour and 40 minutes. The problem here is we cannot subtract a smaller number from a bigger number. 20 minus 40, we cannot do that. What we have to do is we will have to add 60 minutes. So we take plus 60 and the answer will be 80. And we take 80 minus 40 will equal 40 minutes. Now on the left side, the four hours, since we added 60 minutes to the minutes, we're gonna subtract 60 minutes or something equivalent to 60 minutes, which will be one. So we're gonna subtract one hour and the answer is three. So three minus one will equal two, two hours and 41, two hours and 40 minutes.